Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on the Honda 300 four tracks 4x4. So this is going to be part four of a five part series. And before all the fenders and all that goes back on, I want to try to get it running first and make sure that uh, everything's good and sound on the motor since it ain't been cranked. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We're going to get to messing with this gas tank and uh, put some fuel line on and see what happens. Now, this four wheeler wasn't running when we got it. It did hit one time, but I, I got to looking and somebody had added a car fuel filter, an aftermarket fuel filter. And uh, as you've seen in the other video, I had to cut the line to get it off. But what most people I don't think understand about these is on these 300s, they actually have a fuel filter built into them here on the petcock. So it's like a 10 millimeter bolt and it's you just break it loose and uh, get the, you know, you can clean the filter out or whatever and then put it right back on. So that's where we're going to start. Uh, of course, eliminating this, whatever this is, and go back to the stock fuel. If this don't have a filter in it, then yeah, might go with a different filter. But we're going to take this outside, we're going to break it loose and show you what it looks like. Down these petcocks, which I've got it on off right now, that's a 10 millimeter bolt. Just break it loose and the filter screws off. I got some gas coming out of it, that's good. As you can see, there's a lot of gas in there. We'll flush it. Let's see, that's reserve. Oh, this gas is nasty. It's going to take more. We're going to have to take the pet cock off. It's a 23 millimeter, but the 24 will work. There should be a filter on the inside of this pet cock also. And there's not. As you can see, that is just rusted up big time. That's what our problem is. So I can shake it up and get some of this fuel, get this flushed. The gas is actually so dang rusted and just gumped up. It ain't even funny. So I'm gonna pour that out, blow this pet cock out and see what kind of shape's in. There's actually supposed to be a filter that goes up in the tank. It sits on top of that petcock and then one below it. Uh, I have seen them that didn't have it. They've just got this little, uh, got the cup and a little old, uh, well, it's got the screen in it to keep anything from getting down in the bowl, but some of it passes by when it's on reserve. So we're going to blow, I'm going to blow all this out, get this good and clean. And then, of course, I'll have to put fresh gas back in it because there's no way I'm going to try to run that back through this petcock. All right. Now that cleaned up. All the junk and sediment's gone out of that crack. I'll spray some carb cleaner here and clean all this out really good. And I'll order this filter. But we're going to try to see if it'll run with this. I can always pop this back off when needed. And then after a little cleaner, you can see that that, that filter's still in good shape. So is the O-ring and all that junk's gone out of the inside. Everything's nice and nice and clean again. So we'll reassemble it with a 24 millimeter wrench and uh, All right, so you've seen the old fuel line. So I've got a couple new clamps. 
and there's a lot of people on forums saying well what size is it da, da, da. 3 8 is too big this is 5 16 you're actually your stock Honda hose is an S shaped it's shaped in S and it's like I want to say it's 5.5 millimeter or something like that but take lines up on these round cogs on the inside go to these rubber pieces so just slide it forward line it up with your bolt bolt hole and then I got a foot of this you really need about six inches but never hurts to have some extra around the shop this is a Gates uh, barricade fuel hose it's rated for pretty high pressure. It's rated for even fuel injectors, so it'll work perfect for this application. Got these little twists. So I'm going to go ahead and bend that hose. You want to get it the right length so it won't kink. And then tighten it down. like so. Now we'll put fresh gas in it and set a battery up here on the back and we'll see if it'll crank. Okay now I've got the battery rigged up back here. We'll put some fresh gas in it and with a little luck this thing will should fire right up. I had a couple pet cocks that uh, come off an old 300 I had so I was able to use the filter I had a filter to go in here, so I put that filter back in, and it had a better O-ring, and I put a better O-ring on that petcock, so it's all tightened back up. Put us about a gallon of fuel in this thing. One thing, one trick to gas tanks like this is they make carburetor cleaner in like a gallon, or a, it's like in a can where you can dip your carburetor in it. Just a trick for y'all. If you get any of these old 300 tanks, by use whatever, and they got a little spotty rust in them, you can pour the contents of that in here and every day for about two days, shake it up and drain it out, and it will take just about every bit of the rust out of these tanks. So just remember that. I'll, I'll uh, see if I can find a link or something or a description. I'll drop it in the description below. All right, that's about, that's about a gallon. So like I said, I got my battery, my cylinder and everything's just sitting back here on the rear end. My light come on, flip it to on. Maybe I didn't flip it to on. Hit my prime.
there's an adjustment screw on the other side that uh, that adjusts your idle. It's an idle adjuster screw. And I was thinking it was on this side. This is the side that the pump's on. So just remember, if you take one of these parts, 5 16 fuel line, uh, clean that pet cock out real good. Carburetor cleaner in the tank works wonders. Get rid of all the old gas and put everything back together. Make sure your filters are clean. You can take a uh, starting fluid or carburetor cleaner and clean your filters before you put your pet cock back in. But I just did our off camera there just a second ago to try to get it better so I wouldn't put so much gas fumes in the house. But now, fired right up. So that was all that was wrong with this four holder was just, you know, our, our ATVs, we always kept them inside. This one has spent the last 10 years outside all the time. Water gets in your gas one way or another. Old gas being put in it, it's setting through the winter, and he didn't use it like we use ours. So, uh, so that was the main culprit. New gas line, clean filters, new gas in the tank. The old Honda's running good. So if you like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. And as always, God bless. See you on the next video.